Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. How's your practice going? Is it getting along? Or do you need some time to finishing up the lesson one? Maybe after a long break, you need some time to come back. For me, it was the same thing. It used to take like six to eight hours to do editing, but after a long break, it took like a whole entire day to editing my songs. You don't have to wait until you finish the lesson one. Just add another song. That should be fine too. Today, we're going to play a very famous classical tune, the Borzak Symphony. With the songs, I added chord names. C means a C chord. Whenever you see this letter, you will play the notes that we have learned. And with this C chord, and adding a couple more notes, and we will play the beautiful tunes. Now, let's see how it goes. The song is from New World Symphony by Dvorak. It's in the second movement. This is very beautiful melody line. I rearranged it to make it a little easy. So leave it out some of the hard chord and made the song again with this using C chord. So we will today start with this song using the C chord. Now if you're looking at the score, it looks really complicated. There's lots of lines and some chord and first of all, it's longer than before. But if you look carefully, it just has two parts. First part and second part and last part is almost similar to the first part, little bit different, the ending. So it just repeats back again. Now the left hand is pretty easier. It has a C chord and after that it has only G note and then C again, G, and C chord. So if you're looking at the score and do you find the C's, that means that's a C chord. Why? You start from the C and build it up the note. So that's the C chord. So whenever you see the C signs, that means you have to play C, E, G. Now the last of note is either G or F or G or F, except the very last line and second measure, we have G from stepping up, A. That's the only one exception, except that we only use a C chord or G, F. That's it. So left hand is pretty easy. Problem is right hand. Right hand also is not really hard, the hard part is you have to shifting hands from C chord to C, trouble C position. So that one we'll talk about later. But for now, let's see right hand only first. Now let's find hand position. It starts with E, finger number three. So where is the hand position? Middle C, D, E, that's the one with finger number three. So you place your hand on finger number three. And this song is a slow. And also it's first time. So I will go slower than it user. Okay. Now let's go. One, two, three, four. E and skip up and repeat. One, two count and skip down. Down. Smitter C, two count, and step up, up, skip, skip down, and D, two, three, four count, and second line, 
Same as the first line. One, two. Skip down, down, down to C. Two. Step up. here. That's the part A. How is it? It's okay, right? So as long as you know the E, D, C, it's okay. From E to skip up and E to step down. So mainly it's start from E and going up and down and up and down. So see that way. And if you are not comfortable playing it, then practice a couple of times this part and move it on to the part B. Measure 9, the third line, is the starting part B, new part. Why? Because it's changing hand position. Let's see, what is the first note? It just start with second space. So F, A, right? And starting with A, with finger number 3. So from C to you have to move it on to A, with finger number 3. Shift it as fast as possible. Now let's start second part. Still in slow tempo. One, two, three, go. A, skip, same note, two count. Step down, skip, step up, two count. Repeat, skip, step down, skip, step up, two, three, Four, and then same note, skip, one, two, step down, skip, step up, two, same, skip, step down, skip, step up, two, three, four, up to here. That's the part B. Part B is a little bit confusing because of the stems. Do you know what is stems? Stems means note and the line that attached to the note. If you're looking at beginning of the part B, A, and it skips up. Note hair is skips up, but stems goes down. That's why many people confuse the same second notes going down. No. But note head is going up, so you have to skip up. Don't look at the stems. Stems are only tell you what is the beat. Is that whole note or half note or quarter note? It doesn't affect any note high, note names. So you have to look at note head instead of stems. Okay, don't care about stems going up or down. Just look at the note head. That's how you're supposed to see it. The melody line is pretty simple, but the stems make you confusing. Up to here is part A and B. So you just take it out this part A and B, practice a couple of times, and when you can play it well, then move it on to the last part, which is ending part. Ending part, the measure 17, is exactly the same as part one, the very first part. So let's see how it goes. Find hand position, ready, right hand only, one, two, three, go, E, skip, repeat, two, skip down, down, C, two, step up, up, skip, skip down, and step down, two, three, four, and then next one, E, skip, one, two, here, now, let's find it, it's kind of far, right, how you wanna find it, third space, do you remember the space note name, F, A, C, E, face, so that's third space, F, A, C, that's the treble C, so how are you gonna go, Move it on with finger number two and drop on the C. That's the part. 
circle the part with red pen and you have to practice a couple of times one two and then move it on to the C finding hand position as fast as possible that's the key okay so now let's start again measure 21 that line finding the C you have to remember let's go one two three go and shift it up step up up two count and step down down up and the next note what is it it's kind of far again not skip more than skip second space do you remember F A so it's gonna be A here got it so you can play it that way or count down how many down from line space line space that way you can find it too but the next note is a on finger number one and skip up again two three four so the very last line again you take it out and practice a couple of times again now before we add it left hand i will just go over with one thing if you're looking at the score the left hand C chord at the beginning and you will see the lines what is the line that's we call it tied tied means you're not gonna play it next note instead you hold it the note for the value so let's see for example C chord first the C chord is four count and then next the C chord is exactly the same note and four count then how you're gonna do it hold it for eight four plus four the eight you remember that right we went over the times from previous lesson so you have to keep holding one two three four another four count two two three four so you have to hold that eight count this time let's move it on to the plane both hands together now let's find hand position right hand starts on e left hand starts on c built it up the chord the c chord got it we will go slow one two three play skip one two play only right hand left hand keep holding two down two count and this time left hand play a g only and the right hand step up see it one step up skip step down left hand keep holding and then right hand step down two three four and drop again everything you just leave it both hand and drop at the same time c chord and e skip repeat two and the left hand hold it and the right hand skip down down Two, right hand step up left hand again G do you see it step up up step down C and this time again right hand repeat and left hand leave it and drop at the same time two three four A A skip repeat two and left hand step up right hand step down so opposite direction skip step up two and the left hand step down skip step skip and left hand repeat one two three four now exactly the same thing we repeat third line again third line and fourth line is the same okay skip one two step up left hand one two and step down skip step down skip and repeat one two three four and the last part coming back right hand to e and left hand is a c chord one two three 
four. Skip down, step down, C. Two, and now right hand is D, left hand is G. Step up, up, skip, skip, and right hand step down, left hand keep holding, two, three, four, and leave it, and play it again. Skip, repeat, two count. Now let's find hand position. How are we gonna go? This is the challenging part. Right hand C, with finger number three, left hand, just slide up, thumb like this. Got it? Do you see it? From G2, just slide up. Step up, up, two, left hand, skip down to F, and right hand is a step down. Step down, step up, and this is note that we talked about, A. And now this time, is a little bit challenging. Listen, right hand is a skip up, left hand is a C chord. How are you gonna go? Right hand you have to keep holding, but left hand can go like this. So only the last part, right hand keep holding and go to C. Don't leave it. Because if you leave, the melody line will be break it up. So just keep holding and go. Left hand is from F to, you can go like this. Or, This time, we're going to play whole entire song in regular tempo. The regular tempo is still in slow speed. Let's see. Fine hand position, E and C chord. One, two, three, go. Hardest one, take it out the part, practice, and edit both and together. And if you're still struggling playing it for the lesson one, then just keep practice, edit this song by part by part. Don't get stressed. You don't have to get stressed with this lesson. That's okay. It's just you're doing for fun. Basic course was really easy, and now we're learning the chords part, which is little bit complicated. We play many notes at the same time and right hand start moving. 
moving up and changing positions. Maybe after a couple of lessons later, we'll add eighth notes and more chords. Then it will be more complicated. So don't get stressed out from now. You're too early to be stressed out. Just practice slow. And if you aren't ready, you can take two weeks to practice it. That's fine. You just practice previous song and add it next to one. And by the time when we move it on to the lesson three, then you'll be okay with lesson one. Then leave it out and working on lesson two and three. And by the time lesson four coming up, then you can just leave it two away and then practice three and four. Or sometimes you can practice everything one through four. So don't be upset. Enjoy your practicing. And if you have any question, let me know. Then I will help you out how to practice it. Or sometimes even with little problems, you're messing up many times. So I will tell you what is the problem that it will be okay. I hope you enjoy practicing and we'll see you next week. Bye.